Hello my dear students, I'm Flora Ma'am and I'm going to teach you English Literature Chapter 4 A Wonderful Gift The Second Part So dear children, please watch my explanation and do the exercise given below. Okay, now be safe, be careful and obey your parents. Thank you my dear students. His mother was so overjoyed that she hugged him and kissed him. Then suddenly she began to worry. Had Benjamin done the right thing? Benjamin, how did you learn to draw such a lovely picture? She asked. I didn't learn it. He answered. I just did it. I couldn't help but do it. So, when Benjamin's mother saw the picture, she was overjoyed. She was very happy and she hugged Benjamin and kissed Benjamin. Then she started worrying. She was thinking to herself, is it right or wrong? Then she asked Benjamin, how did you learn to draw such a beautiful picture? Benjamin told, her mo told his mother that mother I, di I did not learn to draw it I just drew it. When Benjamin's father came home his mother showed him the picture. It looks like her doesn't it? She asked but I don't know what to think. Is it very wrong for Benjamin to do such a thing? She added. Now when Benjamin's father returned home, Benjamin's mother showed Benjamin's father the picture and told him that just have a look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so nice. But I don't know if it is right or wrong. Benjamin's father did not answer. He looked at the picture carefully. Then he handed it back to his wife and, and said, put it away. Now Benjamin father took the picture and he had a look at it and he said, put this away. He felt that Benjamin had did something wrong. So he told Benjamin's mother to just keep it away. Several weeks later, the priest of the church called on them. The priest was a wise old man with a very pleasant face. He was loved and respected by everyone. So a priest, you know, like how you all have in the temple, you have uh, Panditji, then in the mosque you have uh, Molvi Sahib. So in the church they have a priest. Okay. So he called Benjamin's family. He said, please come and meet me. I want to meet y'all. I want to see y'all. So the priest was a very nice person. So everyone used to respect him and listen to him. So when the priest called them, they went to meet the priest. Benjamin's parents decided to show him the picture. They they told him how Benjamin was always trying to draw something. They wondered if they should stop him from doing so. Now, when they meet, went to meet the priest, they, Benjamin's parent took the picture and went with them. They showed the picture to the priest and they said, they told him that uh, whenever he used to get free time, he used to sit and draw. But we want him to stop doing all these things. He looked at the picture for a long time. Then he called Benjamin to him and put his hand on his head. Now the priest looked at the picture and called Benjamin and he put his hand on Benjamin's head. That means he is blessing Benjamin child has a wonderful gift. Why should anyone stop him from doing what he loves? He said, 
Let us hope that Benjamin will grow up to be an honor to our country. So the priest told Benjamin's father that this child, that means Benjamin, has a wonderful gift. So why should you stop him? Let him do. He will bring honor to our country. And the words of the priest came true. Many years later, Benjamin West became a great painter and his pictures made him very famous. So remember what the priest told Benjamin's parents that let him do painting, let him learn painting. Okay, he will bring honor to our country and the priest's word came true. Okay, and Benjamin became a famous painter. Benjamin was an American painter. He was very well known for his war painting. You know children when they have war, okay, so he used to do those type of painting. He liked that. Okay, he also taught many artists who became famous painter. He started teaching many of them and those art people, they became famous painter. Okay. So dear children, each one of us have a wonderful gift in us. Please take them out. Practice. And I'm sure one day you'll make your parents and your teachers proud.